Still working through it uh, day to day. Uh, he's made progress, but I'm uh, not sure either way if he'll be able to uh, play on Sunday. Whenever David is back out there, having missed a couple weeks, are you concerned with you know, putting him back out there as much as you want to? Would he need to kind of work his way back into a big load? Yeah, I think we'd be smart with uh, how we use him and make sure we don't you know, give him the ball 40 times, anything like that. Just get his game conditioning back. But he's been working hard. Uh, like what I see so far, and, and hopefully he can contribute on Sunday. Uh, I mean, it's great to have two guys that are very talented running backs, both running the football and catching it. And so we got to find a way to, to utilize both of them. How did David look at today? He looked great. He looked great. He's, he's come a long way. And um, obviously, the game speed and conditioning is different, but we like what we've seen. What do you like so far from Zach Brown? Just got him. Yeah, I mean, just, just got him. <clears throat> haven't seen too much live action, but uh, watching his tape, you know, moves around well, very athletic, has, has played well in this league, and um, so provides some really good linebacker depth for us. You have enough Eagle linebackers in? I think we're getting there, yeah, quite a few of them. Yeah, I think the NFL, obviously, it's a big step up in competition and how we do things. and. Um, how we practice, how we work, and, and he's game for all of it. It's just it, it takes time, and, and you saw his explosiveness the other night, um, and hopefully we can build off that. Because he can run a 4-3. <laughs> yeah, it tends to happen. Um, no, he, he's very shifty, very fast. I think he's deceptively fast, too. He gets up on you quick, um, and when he, when he gets out in the open, he's hard to catch. Uh, not really. I think we, we know he has explosive capability, and we want him to continue to learn and continue to get better. And we have a plan for him, and, and you know he's on pace for what we want him to be. What do you think that play does for him, though? Yeah, it definitely builds confidence. Anytime you go against one of the top defenses in the league and, and um, hit a big play like that, that means a lot to him. Yeah, we have some talented wideouts, and um, so we'll continue to mix them in and, and um, just utilize them the best way that we can. How happy are you been with Jordan Hicks? He's been everything he could have been. He has. He's been a great quarterback for, for the defense and getting guys lined up and um, been a great resource for our defensive staff. I mean, he, he's very smart, high football IQ, can really process information quickly, and um, so we're, we're thrilled to have him. Been a great leader in the locker room as well. He does. He does. Um, kind of a shoulder issue, and, and we'll see where that kind of goes. How's Chase coming along? He's coming. He's coming. Probably not this week, but um, he's progressing. Does that fit in a certain area as far as against the pass or against the run, or is he a guy that can do all things? He can do it both. Really moves well, um, and that, that's why we, we liked him, is his ability to, to um, play in all situations. I know we talked about Patrick a lot on Friday, um, but when he has so few games, No, he, he knows how good he is, and, and I think everybody has to understand, you know, he has been off the couch for three weeks, and then that was a short week on top of it. And so a lot of the repetitions, the full speed stuff that he needs to get himself back into playing shape and condition and top form, it wasn't there last week. And, and so I expect him to have a great game this week, and I mean, he's one of the best to ever play that position, and he's not short on confidence, so um, he'll be ready to rock this week. Yeah, Mike is a stud, man. I've known Mike since he was like 18 years old at Texas A&M. Um, I knew he was going to be something special, and his work ethic uh, is through the roof type of person he is. One of the greatest competitors I've ever been around, and so it doesn't surprise me what he's doing. Last, I mean, yesterday he was phenomenal, and he's a tough matchup for anybody. Did you enjoy the long weekend, or did you just draw up a zillion new plays? We had, you know, some plays were drawn up, um, but I did get to catch up on some shows, and so it was good. Pretty restful. I think it's just a feel thing at this point. Like I said, he, he was on the couch for a while. I know he was working out, but you can't simulate football conditions. And, and so he's still getting comfortable in our scheme, playing at full speed, live reps, all those things. And, and you know, that's a natural progression of things, particularly on a short week. And I expect him to be much better this week. Well, Shanahan talked last week after the game about quarterbacks making their money on third and down conversions. Do you feel that way, that that's a pretty important down? They, they did last week, you know. Um, it's hard to stay on the field in, in this league, and, and it's usually coming down to that. You look at 
the game is across the league, whoever has a higher percentage than that usually has a good chance of winning the game. When you, when you, look, you, you said you, it's nice to have all these running backs that you can use, does it, does it make you want to use multiple running backs on certain plays more often than you might have anyway? If you have them, yeah, I think there's some creativity that you can, you can fit in and, and we'll try to be effective and efficient in doing that um, as much as we can. If you have two really good players and you can find ways to get them both the ball and on the field at the same time, then we'll try to do it. Yeah, he's he's a great offensive mind. Um, been a big fan of his. How aggressive he is. He cuts it loose. Um, you know, huge personality. The players love to play for him. Everybody around here speaks very highly of him. I've got to meet him a couple of times. Been great to me. So uh, I'm a big fan of his. Yeah, yeah, just the way he pushed the ball down the field, um, the way he used David, you know, in, in those situations. Uh, I thought he did a tremendous job while he was here. So are you a good bowler? I'm not. I'm not. I'll just be cheering him on tonight. <laughs> yeah.